TeddySwap is a brand new decentralized stablecoin DEX building on Cardano, and the question on everyone's mind is will they be able to stand up to the big dogs in the ecosystem? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. In today's video, I wanna do a brief review of TeddySwap, which has officially announced that they will be launching on the Cardano network. Now, if you guys wanna check out their full website, you guys can head over to teddyswap.org. Now, as it reads here, TeddySwap is a scalable, decentralized exchange or DEX for short, and an automated liquidity provision protocol for stable coins. If you guys wanna find out about their recent updates, you guys can go ahead and click on this recent updates button. And then they've also just released their light paper, which I'm gonna briefly review as a part of this video. Now, what exactly are you guys gonna get when using TeddySwap? First things first, TeddySwap will be focusing on the top stable coin pairs on Cardano. You'll also be able to earn yield while providing liquidity to their stable coin pairs. And third, you'll be able to minimize impermanent loss by providing liquidity into stable asset pairs. In terms of functionality, we can expect democratized ownership, efficient liquidity, and yield farming opportunities. Now this project essentially kicked off not too long ago and they've gotten a lot of traction over the course of the last few days. Now what I wanna do is review this announcement that was just made by the team earlier about their initial launch when it comes to the preview testnet. So as a part of their third development update, it reads here, following our release of our tokenomics, we are excited to present our third development update. TeddySwap is an open source decentralized exchange protocol on Cardano. Now, I'm not going to be able to break all of this down. I will have additional videos covering the tokenomics and the other updates from the TeddySwap team. But what I want to mention as a part of this video is that they've initially launched a part of their DAP on the preview testnet. Now, it says here the front end um, updates right have been completed to support the swap liquidity and transaction history sections and their progress can be seen using the link below now i'm going to go ahead and leave this link as well in the description if you guys are interested in checking teddy swap out for yourselves scrolling down a little bit further when it comes to some of the back-end updates that they're actively working on an initial version of the explorer api is now deployed on the Cardano preview testnet in preparation for their public testnet. Now, as I mentioned before, this project initially um, launched not too long ago, and the fact that they are now already preparing for a public testnet is really great news. It sounds like they've got a solid development team and they're really here for business. Additionally, continuous integration and deployment are now integrated for the service, which is based on the Spectrum Finance Explorer backend. Now, I want to just quickly touch on some of the protocol objectives, which were also listed as a part of their previous update. So they have three main objectives, and the first is to increase capital efficiency on Cardano stable coins to bring increased value to the Cardano ecosystem. Second, they aim to provide fundamental infrastructure to allow users to effectively utilize and leverage Cardano stable coins. And then third, they plan to offer an attractive and conservative yield option to community members with low slippage and drastically reduced risk of impermanent loss. Now, if I jump into the official preview testnet UI that they've just released, we can see here that from here you can participate in swaps. You can provide liquidity as well. You can also yield farm and review your orders. Now, I do want to note that this is not fully functional just yet, but as it does become functional, I'll make sure to release additional updates, essentially walking through how you guys can actually use the Teddy Swap Dex. Now, from here, we have what is pretty standard within the DEX community, which is just a simple swap screen. From here, you can go ahead and actually um, toggle some different filters. Doesn't look like that's actually available or active just yet, but then you can actually select a token. Right now, they just have some test tokens, which we can see here are the World Mobile token as well as the Meld tokens. I'm just gonna go ahead and select one of these here. And again, this is not fully functional, so um, don't expect for this to actually be working as expected just yet. Um, you can also then go ahead and select the token that you wanna swap to, which again, I'll just go ahead and just leave some of this default information as is. Just like we would see on other traditional DEXs, you can also go ahead and review all of the transaction settings before you actually perform your swap. Next, I'm gonna click on swap. And again, I'm gonna be able to ask to confirm my swap. Everything looks good to me for now. I'm gonna just go ahead and click on confirm swap. 
and this will now be confirmed again. This is not actually pulling from my wallet. As you guys can see, I don't actually have a wallet connected just yet, but I just wanna show you guys what the user interface looks like. Next, if I jump into the liquidity section, we can get a brief overview all of, the, of all the liquidity pools. You also have the ability to essentially quickly search through whatever pool you're interested in. Now, when it comes to some of the information that's actually shown here, we have the token pairs for the specific pool. We also have the TVL that's locked up within the given pool, as well as the 24 hour trading volume for the said pool, as well as the APR that you can earn as a part of being a liquidity provider. It looks like you also have the ability to add liquidity very quickly here. And then you can also toggle to see exactly what pools you've already delegated or provided liquidity for. They are still actively working on the farm section as well as the order section. And I believe that aside from that, they also have the history section slightly functional. So from here, we can essentially see some dummy transactions that um, essentially just kind of give us a feel for what the completed user interface will actually look like. So again, here we have the token trading pair, what kind of action was performed, whether it's a swap or a deposit, and then the time at which that transaction occurred, and then the status of said transactions. Now, if you want to search or filter throughout their transactions, you can also do that by using the search transaction option here. And then you can also filter by different statuses based on your transaction history. Having said that, if I jump into the settings here, we can either switch between a light theme, a dark theme, or system theme. I'm not necessarily sure what that system theme is all about, but again, they are actively working to develop this. You can also find out a little bit more about Teddy Swap, how to use the decks, as well as review some of their documentations. And then if you wanna check out their code, you can do that as well. And then if you wanna switch the language, that option is available. That is going to wrap it up for today's brief review of the Teddy Swap decks. Again, they're going to be building on Cardano and they've already kind of headed off um, with a quick release of their preview testnet. Again, keep in mind that this is just the user interface for the time being, but as they begin to roll out the actual smart contracts, I'll have additional videos for you guys in the community. So hopefully you guys found this video to be helpful. If you did, then please make sure to tap that like button. If it's your first time running by the DAP Central YouTube channel, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for myself or the Teddy Swap team, then leave a comment down below. I will see you guys in the next video.